Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Paying YouTube channel. Today we're doing a super quick video on the daily lead code problem 2583, kth largest sum in a binary tree. You're given the root of a binary tree in a positive integer k. The level sum in the tree is the sum of the values of the nodes that are on the same level. Return the kth largest level sum in the tree, not necessarily distinct, and if there's fewer than k levels in the tree, then return minus one. Okay, so uh, every time you see level sum in a tree, basically you know that you need to do a level order traversal and we need to sum all of the elements on that level. And then when you hear kth largest or kth smallest, then you know you need a heap. So that's essentially what we wanna do here is we wanna traverse the tree in a level order manner. We're gonna get the sum on a given level, put that into a heap, and then at the end, we'll basically get the value out of the heap. And in this case, since we want the kth largest, we're actually gonna use a min heap of size four Therefore, the kth largest, aka the, I guess the smallest one in the heap, will actually be the answer. So that's what we're going to do. Level order traversal plus using a, um, a heap here. So, oops, uh, wrong one. Solution, no, where's the code editor? Okay, cool. So how do we want to do this? So we know that we need our um, heap, right? So we're going to say heap. And we're going to say that the Q for the BFS uh, is going to be collections.deck. And this is just going to be root in the beginning. So now we just need to do the level traversal. So we're going to say while Q, while Q, we are going to basically traverse over the entirety of that level. So we're going to say that um, uh, for blank in range len Q. So this will give us the current level. And then we also need to keep track of the sum on the level, right? So the sum. Uh, for level and this is going to equal to zero. Okay, so now we just need to get all the elements on that level So we're going to say the current is going to equal to Q dot uh, pop left Okay, now we need to basically add the value to our sum for the level. So we're going to say for sum for level We're going to add cur dot val Now what we want to do is add its left and its right uh, subtrees if they actually exist in the tree so we're going to say if cur dot left um, we're going to say q.append cur.left. We're going to do the same thing for the right. If cur.right, we're going to say q.append uh, cur.right. Okay, now at this point, now that we've gotten, uh, we've processed all of the, the nodes and we've actually added them to our sum, what we can now do is actually um, add the current sum to our heap. So we're going to say heap q, heap q dot heap push. We're gonna push onto our heap the uh, sum for the level. Now, obviously we may now have too many elements on our heap. So we're gonna say if the length of our heap is actually greater than K, then we just need to get rid of um, an element because we have too many. So we're gonna say heap Q dot heap pop um, and we're gonna pop from the heap. Okay, uh, now after this, um, while loop finishes, we'll have processed the entire tree. Now what we need to do is simply return an answer. So let me just make sure my indentation is enough. Now remember that if there's actually less than k elements, we just want to return uh, minus one. So we need to check whether or not our heap actually has um, less than k elements. So we're going to say if the length of the heap at this point is actually less than k, and that means that we didn't have k elements, or level, sorry, then we simply just return minus one. Otherwise, we'll just return whatever is at the top of the heap. So let's run this, make sure it didn't make any bugs, looks fine, and accepted, perfect. Okay, so very quickly, the time and space complexity here. Um, we're essentially bounded by the, um, the heap procedure, and we also need to process the entire tree. So the, doing the BFS um, is going to take big O of n time, and then inside of each iteration of our loop, we have to basically pop, uh, we have to pu push to the heap, right? So this is going to be um, times, how many times are we going to do it? n log k. Uh, well, it's actually h log k, where it's like the height of the tree, where it's the, so let's just do this. So uh, n equals number of nodes in tree, h equals levels in tree, uh, and then k is just k. 
Uh, for the space complexity, obviously we have to store the heap and we have to store our Q. Um, so that's just going to be big O of N. Uh, well, it's actually 2N. Um, but because asymptotically it's the same, then we can just say it's big O of N. So that is your time and space complexity. That's how you solve this question. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, why not leave it a like and a comment, subscribe for more daily videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.